The 2020 Founders Gala. I'm Fran Albrecht and your MC for the evening. I have the privilege and honor of serving on the Carroll Board of Trustees. My dad, Bob Moronic, is a proud Carroll alumnus, along with numerous Moronic relatives over the years. And I must add, if it were not for Carroll, and specifically the former Carroll president and coach, the late Archbishop Hunhausen, I might not be here today, thanks to his suggestion to my dad to take some time to pray as to whether God was calling him to the seminary or elsewhere. As the youngest of seven children, I believe my dad heard God's calling, and I am thrilled and humbled to be here to serve Carol today. We are so happy to have you join us this evening and grateful that you have chosen to reserve this night to celebrate and support Carroll College. The theme of our evening is Saints Together. Of course we wish that we could be together in person, and yet what a gift it is to bring together hundreds of people in our extended Carroll family from all across the nation and the world. While we are here live on the campus of Carroll College, we also have, an, have alumni and friends streaming in from at least 31 different states. It's amazing how creative we can be given the circumstances and so grateful that so many are able to gather this year in honor and celebration of Carroll College. I wanna take a moment to orient you with some of the features on the home screen for this event. On the top of the page, you will find tabs linking you to our event headquarters featuring tonight's agenda, frequently asked questions if you have technical difficulties, a list of tonight's sponsors, and of course, a link to make a gift. At the bottom of this live screen, you will see a number of different ways to make a donation tonight. Please share a photo of your gala gathering using hashtag CCGala2020. We would love to see you. And on the side panel, please share your comments using the YouTube event chat feature. This will bring us closer together as we share our thoughts. We are so excited that through the kindness of many pre-event donors and sponsors, we will begin tonight's program displaying more than $100,000 in donations. Throughout the program, with the generosity of you and many other wonderful alumni, parents, and friends, we hope to reach our event goal of 325,000. You will be able to watch progress towards our goal through the live chats that will be updated by our wonderful students from the Carroll Engagement Center. You may also want to talk to your financial advisor about the available tax benefits through the CARES Act, which ends in 2020. Tonight, I have the honor of recognizing just a few people who have made generous advance gifts, contributing $10,000 or more. While there's no way I will be able to mention everyone who has been so supportive of this event and Carroll College as a whole, at the end of this program, there is a list of donors who made advance gifts to the gala on or before November 3rd. Next, to offer our opening prayer, we welcome the chair of the Carroll College Board of Trustees, rector of the Cathedral of St. Helena, and alumnus from the class of 1973, Monsignor Kevin O'Neill. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Good and gracious Lord, as always, we ask your blessing upon us, upon this evening of gathering in the unity of the Holy Spirit, even though distance may keep us apart due to the times in which we live, Christ is with us always. He goes before us to lead us. He is behind us to protect us, beside us to encourage us, above us to bless us. We make him the most welcome guest in the temple of our souls. So this day and every day, we seek his path, his way to walk upon as pilgrim people, as those seeking to become true saints to the world, not only for school, but for life, that we may bring, share, and encourage in others to do the same, 
the blessings and graces we have received from God. May God bless us now and always. May God encourage us to bless others in the Lord's name and in the unity of the Holy Spirit. May we celebrate with mind and heart and soul the community that Carol is and all that Carol is called to become through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. It's my honor as well to introduce Dr. John Seck as chairman of the Board of Trustees. I've had the privilege of working with John in many ways for Carol's good. He is a true leader in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, with all the gifts and graces God has blessed him with, he is wed to Carroll College with heart and mind and soul. So it is an honor for me to introduce Dr. John Seck, president of Carroll College, to all of you. Thank you, Monsignor, for your prayer and your kind remarks. Good evening, and thank you for setting aside this evening to attend our third annual Founders Gala. On behalf of my wife, Victoria, and I, we are grateful to each of you for being with us tonight to celebrate and support this incredible Catholic college, which serves as a beacon to our community, state, nation, and frankly, the world. Carroll College has been with us for over 110 years, and it's helped to change so many lives. Many of you are shining examples of what this school has done and continues to do, preparing our students for life. Soon you will learn about how you can help make an impact for our students. Tonight, I would like to take the remainder of my time to thank those who have made this evening possible. Over the course of the evening, you will hear some incredibly generous stories of businesses and individuals who've helped make this gala possible and helped us to generate the great deal of momentum we are celebrating tonight. To all of those who have already supported us, thank you. Efforts such as this gala do not happen without significant planning, coordination, and leadership. I'd like to begin by thanking the entire staff of the Office of Institutional Advancement for their incredible work, and to all of you for setting aside this evening for Carroll College, for giving us the gift of your time, and for those who are hosting watch party events, and for those watching in your own homes. Thank you for your support. Enjoy your time together this evening. And I hope you enjoy the upcoming scenes from our campus and most importantly, our students. You're always welcome here at Carroll. And if you come visit, please let me know. I would love to meet with you. God bless you. Enjoy this evening of Saints Together. As I mentioned earlier, we are so blessed to have many individuals and businesses make gifts in advance to this evening's program. At this time, I would like to recognize some very generous individuals. Mark and Teresa Roscoe. Tom and Wendy Downey. And Peter W. Sullivan and Barb Harris. These people were critical in helping us to build momentum as we approach this evening. These faithful donors have a long history of supporting our students through the gala and many other scholarships programs. Thank you. We've also received a generous $10,000 gift from an anonymous donor in Washington State. To these and all of our donors, thank you. Since becoming a trustee just over a year ago, I have enjoyed spending time with the students here at Carroll College. Of course, one of the great challenges about conducting a gala in this virtual format is that you, our guests, don't have the opportunity to visit with our Carroll students. However, tonight we have several students who are all scholarship recipients who are ready and excited to visit with you as you make your phone call or text gift. 
So give them a call now. They're waiting and excited to talk with you. Among the many things we can take pride in is the way that Carroll College has navigated this pandemic. Our students are here in person and taking appropriate precautions and learning in the classroom. While many in higher education have had to move solely online, here at Carroll, we're navigating a careful and prudent course combining safety and academic quality. As many of you know, so much of Carol's education happens in the personal interactions between the students and the faculty and staff on this campus. And we are truly blessed that we are able to allow students to experience those quality interactions in class and here on campus. I'm pleased to share with you some insights from a few of our Carol students as they acknowledge what brought them here, their experiences, and how grateful they are for your support, which makes their education possible. I chose Carroll for several reasons. Uh, the first was uh, the faith background of the school. It's a Catholic school. I'm really uh, close with my faith and uh, coming to a school that uh, gives you opportunities to uh, live that out uh, was really important to me. I also chose Carroll because of its uh, academic rigor as a school and as an institution. Uh, Carroll provides so many different academic opportunities and it really helps you succeed and challenges you in so many different ways. Carroll is a place where I think what you do as a student matters, but more than that, who you are as a person and how you grow to be a person is really what your time here is all about. I think it's a place where you get to ask these questions of who am I and how can I change the world? What can I do for the world? How can I serve others? Scholarships have been really important to me uh, here at Carroll. Uh, coming in, receiving those academic scholarships, but also receiving more as I've made my way through uh, the years at Carroll. And the, the scholarship donors that have helped me along the way have been amazing and generous and kind and uh, wanting to meet with me and writing to me and. Uh, helping me along the way and uh, just knowing that there's a face behind the person who's giving me uh, these scholarships has been really helpful too and they've given me tremendous amounts of advice and life lessons that uh, I hold dear to my heart. I think, you know, the things that you get to learn here, the experiences you get to have here, they're really not just for school, they're for life and there are things that, and skills and experiences and moments and memories that you'll carry with you wherever you go. And just the friendships you make here, the ways that you grow and learn, you'll never forget them. For the alumni with us tonight, I'm sure this brings back some great memories of Carol. And now, as we prepare to advance into the heart of our program, I'd like to say just a word about the special place that we are here to celebrate and support tonight, Carroll College. I had the opportunity to serve as the former chair of the Montana University System Board of Regents and have come to understand the great work occurring across Montana and our country at many of our colleges and universities. And tonight I'm delighted to recognize that there is something very special about Carroll College. And what happens here is truly unique. I'm so honored to serve on the board and to contribute to this important mission and special place. Tonight, you can help Carroll College to continue its mission, captured so beautifully by the motto, not for school, but for life. Those of you who have attended the Founders Gala in the past know that this evening offers an invitation to support the students and the mission of Carroll College through financial support. And I want to take just a moment to again acknowledge the astounding support that so many of you have offered to make this evening possible. As you logged into this event, you would have seen recognition for our sponsors this evening. To these businesses who stepped up during challenging times to support Carroll College, thank you so much for your support. Two more alumni have decided to support this evening with a very special gift, and I know that they are with us virtually tonight. Gary and Kathy Braco have committed to match every gift of $1,000 or more this evening 
up to 25,000. Gary serves with me as a fellow trustee, and we so appreciate the generosity of Gary and Kathy. Our sincere thanks goes out to you this evening for supporting this event in such a special way. Additionally, we want to acknowledge that every single gift matters, no matter the amount. That's why we're honored to announce a second matching gift from two of Carol's continually generous supporters who are also with us virtually tonight. Ray and Susie Kuntz. For every dollar raised tonight to support student scholarship funds, Ray and Susie will match that gift dollar for dollar up to $50,000 to retain students who encounter financial hardship at Carroll through a persistent scholarship. So con consider this tonight. Your gift of $1,000 can actually be worth $2,000 or even $3,000. We certainly hope that the generosity of these special donors will inspire each of you to make a gift that is meaningful to you and to utilize this match as an opportunity to stretch your gift. At this time, the Bishop of the Diocese of Helena, Bishop Austin Anthony Vetter, will say a few words of greeting and gratitude. I've enjoyed getting to know Bishop Vetter through our work on the Carroll Board and understand that he's getting quite comfortable with videos through this pandemic. At the conclusion of his remarks, Bishop Vetter will introduce the next portion of our program, the premiere showing of a video that we're excited to share with you. This inspirational sh video shares the story of a Carroll College alumna from the class of 1979, whose life is a story of inspiration and hope. It is very moving. Please enjoy. Bishop Vetter here. Good to be with you. I'm your bishop. Well, I'm someone's bishop. Maybe you're from out of state, and I'm not your particular bishop, because uh, I'm the Bishop of Helena for the last 11 months. Uh, and I haven't had a chance to meet many of you uh, who are joining us um, virtually this year uh, for this annual gala, which is so important, huh? It's so important for us. Um, I was ordained. November 20th of last year, uh, and huh, the bishops, I've been, they've been envious of me for the two crown jewels that I inherited it and had nothing to do with. One is this beautiful cathedral of St. Helena that I'm standing at the door of, and the other is Carroll College. Uh, I want to state right off the bat uh, that I am so grateful uh, for the generosity of so many to Carroll College, particularly leading up to this event. Our sponsors, thank you. Uh, to those who've made advanced pledges, thank you. And to you, who will make gifts uh, to us, thank you. And I promise you, we will continue to be good stewards uh, with the gifts that you give to us. We do not take them or you for granted. Uh, a little about <laughs> my predecessor, uh, Bishop John Patrick Carroll. I've been reading a history of him, and I was just astonished. He was here less than nine months, less than nine months, and he announced that he was going to build a, a new cathedral. He purchased the land, started making plans, and then he decided to shrink the cathedral by a third and use that money instead to begin what's now known as Carroll College. Incredible, I've done nothing in comparison. Listen to what he said in his homily. For there is no work to which a bishop can set his hand that is comparable in permanent results to church and nation than a building of a great diocesan college. Therefore, I do bend all my energies and solicit the earnest cooperation of my fellow workers to make St. Charles College worthy of her high calling. What a wonderful quote. And I have an obligation to do my part uh, to uphold it. Of course, we all know as he did uh, of our obligation to serve the poor and the aged and the orphaned. But he knew, as we know, that only a college can prepare the next generation in a unique way of faithful young people to serve others, to form leaders who will give their lives away in love and thus make the world a better place. So I want to now introduce to you all uh, the difference that a saint can make. Huh? Carol Saints, what a wonderful uh, slogan that is. Huh? And What's, what's our motto? 
not just not for school but for life right because we're preparing saints for the world and the world is in dire need and tonight I introduce a story of what just one Carol Saint has done to make the world a better place thank you know of my prayers and please say a prayer for me God bless you and go Saints Carol's mission has never been more needed in our world. And Carol College is not for school, but for life. And that's what we're about, is about preparing students for a life of joy. The education here is structured differently. Not merely professional classes, you know, within a specific academic discipline, but those classes that are intended to form the full person, their will, their heart, so that with the gifts that they've received here, with the knowledge that they receive here, they can do good for the world. They can go and actually give of those gifts and place them at the service of a world that's desperately in need. I want to be a saint. 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 I want to I want to be a saint. Be a saint. I want to be a saint. My name is Terry Temple and I graduated in 1979. So after Carol, I started my nursing career at St. Peter's Hospital. And then I started having my own family. And I had just started on the surgical floor and I was pregnant. I'd just been to the doctor on Friday and this was on Sunday and I thought I was having contraction. Well, the contractions didn't really increase. They weren't getting stronger. And so I finally called my doctor. And so he met me at the hospital and did an ultrasound. He couldn't pick up a heartbeat. So they got me ready and did a C-section. And the manager of the department at that time asked me, she said, you know, I really want you to see your baby. And I knew I didn't want to see my baby because I knew what happened to my baby. Why would I want to see it? This baby's dead. And she said, you know, you might not want to see your baby now, but down the road, it's going to remove a lot of questions you might have. Because I trusted her, because I respected her, I decided to see my beautiful baby. We named her Jessica, and she was beautiful. And I'm glad I got to see her. And I think that that truly started the journey of where I was and what I wanted to do. To this day, I have three beautiful, healthy children. And they have asked me, if Brian and Jessica lived, would we be here? And I have answered them. They're my greatest blessings. And that's what matters most to me. You know, what I've learned from this is you can either become bitter or you can become better. And that's what I hope to help people through, is the bitterness of loss to the betterness of being a better person because of the loss. At St. Peter's Hospital, when we have somebody with a loss in pregnancy, Terry is one of our first phone calls. Terry will come to the bedside at any time, day or night, providing the most compassionate care and anticipatory guidance for our couples that are navigating through the most horrific experience some of them have ever had in their lifetime. The amazing journey and the amazing stories I hear from these families is incredible. And as the saying goes, some people dream of angels. We have held them in our arms. That's why I continue to do this. That's why I continue to come up to Carol and teach them because that's what I remembered through you know, my losses, Jessica and Brian, that I would have liked to have known a little bit more going through the Carol rotation of how to help people. The students coming out of Carol are special. They're different. When you have an experience as a student with somebody like Terry Temple, it's something you'll never garner from a book. And as I tell them, you're not a bobcat, you're not a grizz, you're a saint. And you know, if you believe in a saint like I believe in a saint, 
that means we are held to a higher standard. Terry Temple's story is a powerful testament to what a Carroll College education can do. I think of our students who, at the onset of the pandemic, when they could have been tempted to just focus on everything they didn't have. And instead, they organize a group to go and stand outside of the balconies of the nursing home and to sing to the residents of the nursing home. I'm proud when I recognize those moments when our students see someone in need and respond generously. A saint isn't defining his or her life by what they can get, but by what they can give. I want to be a saint. 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 I want to be a saint too. Tonight, you've seen just one example of what a life of self-gift can do for the world, of the impact that it can make on a world so desperately in need. Yet, we all know, those of us who have experienced Carroll College, that no one becomes a saint alone. We become saints together. And that's why it's our theme this evening, saints together. Not only are we together in this strange way, all across the nation, but we're together too in a commitment to the mission of Carroll College, to the work that goes on here. And you have an opportunity to partner with us and to make sure that the mission of Carroll College continues, that every student who desires the education that we offer here, that they can receive it. Tonight, friends, we are saints together, committed to allowing our students, to supporting our students who are here right now to be what God made them to be. We ask you to consider partnering with us by making a financial contribution to support the mission of Carroll College. Your gifts this evening will go to support student scholarships to ensure that every student who desires to be a saint has that opportunity. Please partner with us tonight. Make a financial contribution to support Carroll College and remember that every gift matters. Please, as you discern your level of support this evening, enjoy the Carroll College Mass Choir and allow the voices of our students to inspire you. Thank you, and God bless you.
As with many adjustments required during this pandemic, the mass choir had to be altered as well. However, we are thankful to these three choir members who shared their beautiful voices with us tonight. As we conclude our evening, I'm joined on stage by Michael McMahon, Vice President of Advancement at Carroll, to recognize our two final advanced gifts and to assist me in thanking all of you for joining us tonight. A special thank you to you, Fran, for serving as our MC this evening. We are grateful to you, and I echo your gratitude to all who have joined us this evening. We're seeing your support, everyone pour in from across the country, and we're overwhelmed by your generosity. The final three people I would like to recognize tonight have joined the Carroll community as friends of the college. First, John Runda and Tricia McMahon. And next, Terry Payne. These three individuals have chosen to support Carroll College because of the outstanding spiritual, academic, and athletic experiences we provide our students. To them and to all of our advanced gift donors, thank you. We also have had a number of gifts come in tonight that were entirely unexpected. The first one from Jean and Mary Lou Millette, longtime supporters of Carroll College, $5,000. Thank you, Jean and Mary Lou. And next, Jerry Lindorf, one of the greatest supporters of Carroll College, another gift of $5,000. And lastly, a $10,000 gift from, an, from Dr. Chris Watts and his wife from the state of Iowa, $10,000. A tremendous blessing for all of us. Dr. Watts played basketball here with me when I was here. And finally, I have the privilege of recognizing one final gift, one entirely unexpected that we just discovered this afternoon. Everyone, I have the honor of sharing with you that tonight we had word that the college will receive a half a million dollar gift to benefit our endowment. A half a million dollars, everyone to our endowment that we just discovered this afternoon as a result of this gala, to that anonymous donor. Thank you. What a gift it is for me, who as a student took for granted the support that so many of you offered, now to have the honor of receiving that support on behalf of others. Before we let you go, Fran and I do have the obligation of offering some prizes, so we're gonna draw some names. We'll first draw a name for a $100 Saints Shop gift card that can be used at the online store. I'm gonna grab our names. And Fran, if you do the honor. Absolutely. I'm digging deep. Okay. First up is Robert Driscoll, Bob Driscoll from Florida. Bob Driscoll, congratulations to you. One more. This next name we will draw We'll get to do a little online shopping with the $250 Amazon gift card. Eugene Burke from Colorado. Eugene, congratulations to you. To those winners, please contact the alumni office for instructions to receive your prizes. Finally, as we conclude, one word of encouragement. If you feel moved tonight and want to share this message and encourage, encourage others to support Carol, please know how grateful we would be for that help. Share this video on social media and elsewhere and encourage others to make a gift to support our college. And please remember that our progress to our goal will update on the Gala homepage throughout the coming weeks. Remember too that the matching gifts are valid until we achieve those $25,000 and $50,000 thresholds. With your help, we are hoping to continue to inspire more gifts throughout the month of November. So as Michael said, Please share the video and help those who want to be saints. We offer our special thanks to our sponsors this evening and again to you for choosing to be here with us. Following our closing prayer, please stay tuned to view our list of donors who gave in advance of this evening and we'll conclude with our prayer of gratitude. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. We give you thanks, dear Lord, for giving us each other in our human family for being with us in all our joys and sorrows, for friends, family, health, and for grace. May we live this day and every day conscious of all that has been given to us. We thank you for all of these gifts and ask your blessing on Carroll College 
and all who are with us on this special evening. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for joining us and for your support of Carroll College. May God bless you all. Good night.